everybody, Brandon Parker back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you Photoshop, uh, how to make a YouTube layout inside of Photoshop, uh, what I go into it to make a YouTube layout. And I'm going to show you an example of what mine looks like right now and what I did with it a little bit. You can see this uh, gradient overlays. I cut it myself out of the background. All this. So let's get started with an example and I'll put a link in the description to where you can download this example that I have right here to get you started with the content area. What I'm going to tell you right now is you really can't change the content area color. It's because uh, YouTube doesn't really allow you to change it. You can't really change the color of it, but you can change whatever is going to be behind the content area. So basically what, the, what this is, it's an example. So it's kind of like an example so you can see what it's generally going to look like. So let's go to file, new, I'll actually go to layout, new layer, we're going to add a new layer, and drag this layer in the middle between layer 2 and layer 1, and in layer 3, you can rename it if you want, I usually don't rename mine because I know exactly what they are, I, because I'm not good with Photoshop, but if you get confused or whatever, you can just name it when you create a new layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make it all black. It's uh, just like the background. And the reason I'm going to make it all black is when I go to filter and it add clouds, it's going to show. So let's make it all black. Okay, let's go to brush. And make sure it's a round brush for this part. You might want the whole brush to be a, a bit bigger. So that it gets all of it. And I pretty much got all of it, you can tell. Uh, if you want to shut these other two off, yeah, see. See if you missed anything. Okay. So now that I got it, black, I'm going to go to filter. And I'm going to go to render clouds. Okay. And then next, what I'm going to do is brush again. And we're still on the round brush. And we're going to change the color of it. If you want to change the color, I'm going to go to this. Then you're going to change the mode of your brush from normal to multiply. You can change it to anything else if you want. But multiply to me comes in best. So I'm going to show you uh, multiply. And you can play around with the others yourself if you don't like multiply. But I think multiply comes in best. So I want it to be blue, like a little bit lighter. So that it won't be too dark when it's multiplied. Okay. And you might undo that because I'm missing some or no edit. Or it was fine. I just thought it was, uh, I was miss. I'll make it a bit bigger so I don't miss it. So it gets it a lot better. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then next what I'm going to do is uh, leave it on normal up here, but down here in the effects tab, what we're going to do is we're going to go to gradient overlay, and it's covering it right now because it's on normal. So what we want to do is go to multiply, click OK, and then now if you want to add more stuff on it, you can either get a brush, or create a new layer or add more stuff on top of it. Depends. If you don't really don't want to mess it up and you might want to create a new layer. And yes, it's blue, so and it's multiplied, so you might so change it from multiplied to normal. Then we're gonna change this to that. And see, and since we have it on gradient overlay, it stops to right there wherever the black is showing, all the way at the bottom. And usually you want the gradient overlay to be on the bottom. And usually a lot of times people will have it to be black. Sometimes they'll have it to be all white. But usually a lot of people do black because it, it works best for a lot of people's uh, YouTube channels. You can have that, and then you can add other stuff if you want. 
or create a new layer for it. Layer new. So you don't really, if you like the way that is and you really don't want to mess it up too much, if you go to undo, on the, if you create a new layer, uh, every time you add a new brush or something, it's best to probably create a new layer for it. And I'll change the color to red. And this ain't going to be totally uh, perfect for this tutorial, but it's just a general example of how I do my YouTube layouts. Let's see, uh, like this maybe? It's white, I didn't remember to put it to red. Yeah. It's there. Or maybe there. Or if you don't like that, go to this. I'll do this. That. You can also. Depending on whatever brushes you have, I'll put a link in the description so you can download some of these brushes I have. I've done it in a few other videos, but not all my Photoshop videos. But for this tutorial, since I'm messing around with brushes, and I'll put a link. I don't know if you're going to find the exact same ones that I've used in this video, but in the description where I put the links to, you can find some of them that I've uh, on the websites that I've found them. Some of these brushes. You just have to go searching for them on the website to find the exact ones that I have. And I've changed uh, my brushes uh, over the years. I've changed to different ones. So not all the brushes I have are always going to be the same ones that I've had from my previous videos. Because a lot of these I don't have. Uh, some of the ones that I don't have. Because some of them don't, don't really work with CS6. But... Most brushes that I found, they usually do work with all the photoshops that I've had. Just a couple didn't really work and they didn't really show up. But I'll put a link in the description so you can have some of these different brushes. And this is just an example. Probably playing around with different brushes. And you, it's going to take a while to get it perfect the way you want it. Like me, I'm rushing a little bit, so it's not going to be totally perfect. And this is just an example, and just pretty much uh, kind of how I do my YouTube layouts. And then when I'm, because I'm partner, I go to here. Okay. And I would usually, uh, usually what I do, this would be like the banner. Okay. And I was just showing you that for that's where the banner will go. And then uh, I will either what I do is uh, hit, uh, get some like go to file open. And I'll go to. OK. Uh, logos since I partner. Uh, I'll just show you one. I'm not going to show you every single because it will depend on what links you want. And I'll put a link in the description for partner people to put uh, for image maps so you can add links in your banner. And we're going to zoom in to 50% so you can see this. Okay. We're zoomed in to 50%. And all the stuff you want for your. Uh, whatever you want for your links. This is a Facebook one. This is Facebook. Uh, this is Google Plus. If you have a Google Plus, search for these in Google uh, for different uh, logos if you want different uh, icons. These are called logos, icons. Probably type in icons like uh, MySpace icons or yeah, Google icons and different ones and whatever you like. Just put them on your for your banner. Like this is Facebook, the original Facebook. Make sure they're on a background like this, uh, that's checkerboard background, so that all that comes out when you drag it on is just the logo and nothing else. And since this is a bit big, you might want to resize this. It's backwards. Okay, there it goes. 
and there it is. Okay, Facebook. Then you can put your name if you want in the center or off to the right or to the left. So I'm just going to center this or, or type it in first. Let's go to the text tool. Okay, so it's going to be in red. Eighty-eight. Sometimes I don't put the eighty-eight there. I do it in a combination where I add eighty-eight, like I did in my uh, background uh, on my channel. As I added eight here and eight there, those are those are links to my other two channels where I put eight here and I put eight there. You can check out uh, what I'm saying, uh, what I mean, uh, if you go to my channel. You can have this off to the right. Maybe depends on how many links you uh you have uh different uh websites uh, that you want. Usually, what I do is I usually just put uh Twitter, Facebook. Sometimes I'll put MySpace, but MySpace is not that popular anymore. So it's usually just Twitter, Facebook, and my website, or Twitter, Facebook, and Google. I don't really use Google Plus that much, so I just stick with uh Twitter, Facebook, and my website. Those are the main ones that I go to all the time. It, it depends. But I do like Google Plus. It's just that I just don't get on there too much because a lot of people, especially people who are not really computer into, into computers or don't really get, get, get on the internet or don't really have a YouTube channel or whatever or don't really use it, they usually just use Facebook a lot and sometimes they get on Twitter. And I like Twitter because it's very easy to say something really quick. So that's what I use Twitter for and Facebook uh, everyone uses it and it's still popular and it's the main one that's being used so that's why I usually put that always put these two and then okay so then you when you're done you can go to um, let's go to here uh, yeah, let's go to here when you're done you can go to um, edit uh, layer just go to layer merge visible okay if that's the way you wanted it and then if your partner highlight this okay okay edit copy okay and then you're going to file new okay then what we're going to do is uh, this is going to be the banner uh, 1970 okay by 150 Okay, we're going to go to edit, paste, and boom, exactly, so that it blends in when you upload it. When you upload it, your banner, it'll blend in with all this. And I'll put a link to image map so you can do this uh, for your banner, for those who are partner. And that's it, and I'll put a link in the description for... Uh, Examples that get you started, like I said, and and other places to download brushes, where I found some of them. You're going to have to go searching if you want to find the same ones that I use in this video. You're going to have to go searching on those websites. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you, it was useful for you uh, in creating a YouTube layout in the newly uh, YouTube style, the way it is now, and the way they uh, changed it. And that's it. Uh, Check out my other two channels, uh, Spynock, that's my second channel. What I do there is I upload whatever I do on uh, at the film school, because I'm in film school, and whatever I come up with, but mostly what, what I upload there is what I come up with uh, and what I do at the film school, pretty much. Uh, but it, but it will, I won't be uploading a lot there because it takes a lot of work of what I'm trying to do at the film school. It takes a lot of editing time and stuff, so it's going to be a while when I upload stuff there. But I'll be up, up, uploading a lot on my main channel, which is uh, this one, my tutorial channel. I'll be uploading a lot more here. And then I'll be uploading a lot on my gaming channel. So if you have any suggestions on my gaming channel, which is fantasy art of what games you want to see me play. Because right now I'm doing PC games, but uh, I would like to do... Uh, well, 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 what I would like to do is stuff on uh, PS3 because I want to get me a PS3 soon because I'm a fan of uh, PlayStation. I really like uh, stuff with the PlayStation. I like games that come out for that. But I really had a, had time to get me a PS3 because I've been doing other stuff and getting other things. 
So, uh, but in the next two weeks, I'll be getting me a PS3 soon. So be on the lookout for that. If you have any suggestions or whatever, just let me know. And also check out my website, pixelpocketmedia.com. I'm updating it right now. It'll be done in the next few days or so. I should be done with it. So I'll put a link to all the stuff and everything. And if you have any tutorial suggestions, let me know uh, in the comments below or in a personal message or in an email. I'll put links to everything so you can ask me your questions or whatever you have suggestions or whatever. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Come on. Come on.